War Machine have been tweeting me because Twitter was huge back then in, yeah. in 2013. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Um, he had been tweeting me and I never gave him any sort of attention. I was a very private person. I still am a very private person, but back then I didn't want to be involved with anyone with any notoriety. I didn't want to distract myself from, you know, saving up my nest egg and preparing for my future. But eventually I gave in when I got an offer from Hustler. Hustler said, uh, the magazine, they said, we have an opportunity to shoot with this guy who's an MMA fighter, but the only way he will do the photo shoot is if you're in it too. And I said, well, how much are you going to pay me? Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, we were hoping that it would just be, you know, a, a trade for, for publishing. And I was like, it sounds like Hustler. Absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> I, I like, I, I love Hustler. I love Larry, but yeah. That yeah. Sounds like them. No. So, um, I was like, well, if you want to actually take this seriously and you want either of us or mm -hmm. both of us, mm -hmm. you're going to have to pay me. So they ended up paying me. We did the shoot and I met him and he was a very intense character. Mm -hmm. Um, like a larger than life personality, loud, um, just very fun. Mm -hmm. And he was very respectful of me and my boundaries on that shoot. I was a little under the weather. This is before, I think it was a few days before my 21st birthday, 20th or 21st birthday. Mm -hmm. And I had just moved out to Vegas. I was under the weather. It turns out I had pneumonia and kidney stones. Oh, yeah, that was fun. But I was young and afraid of doctors, so. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I, got I can sick. handle this. Yeah, I was like, I got sick. And he, um, at the shoot, he was like, hey, I'm a little worried, you know, that you're not feeling well. Can I come and check in on you later? And I was like, oh, that's very nice, actually. Like, mm -hmm. that'd be, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. um, you can come over to my hotel room, but we're not having sex. Yeah. And that was like the the first thing I laid it out. Like we're yeah. not we're not having sex. We just banged <laughs> for for this magazine. We're not uh -huh. we're not doing that. Um and he said, Okay, that's fine. Let me bring you some food, make sure you're okay. And so he did. And we kept in contact and we were texting. He made sure that I got back to Vegas okay, uh, because I had driven back and forth and we just kept in contact and my mom was like, Wow. That's a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. like, he's really looking out for you and making sure you're all right. Like, maybe you should look into this a little more. Mm -hmm. And within the next two months, he had just love bombed me and made me feel like the most important person in the world, really put me up on a pedestal, told me he would do anything for me. Um, and he had been pursuing me for well over a year at this point. So I truly believed it. And... From there, it just blew up. We decided to enter in a relationship, and we went public with it within a couple of months. Everyone loved it. It was salacious, you know, a porn star and an MMA star. Mm -hmm. um, really just being messy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because everyone loves a messy couple on Twitter. Yeah. Like, we live for it. And I was the messy couple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I was young and I was jealous because, you know, he would hit on other women and this whole time he was sleeping with other women. And I didn't know. I, I suspected, I, I suspected yeah. it. But um, and I was jealous. And, I, and I, so I would go on Twitter and be like, how dare you? I'm leaving you on mm -hmm. Twitter. And mm -hmm. it's like, I'm 21 years old. Yeah. Like, I was, uh, 21 year olds should not have access to the internet. Yeah. Um, and so we would go back and forth on and off couple for a few months. And the first time that he hit me, um, we had just gotten back from a trip and something had set him off that he had seen on Twitter. His roommate was giving us a ride back to his apartment. We were in the back seat. And he slapped the shit out of me. Wow. Right in front of his roommate. And his roommate just parked the car and left. And just left him in the backseat hitting me. And I was like, oh, it makes you feel like a big man hit me again. And I would, I would say things like that because yeah. that's what gave me power. It's what made me feel like I was more in control right. of the situation. Right. Like, okay, do it again. You think you're hurting me? Do it again then. Make yeah. you feel like a big man. Yeah. Um, 
and so then I would leave him and then he would send me flowers or something and tell me he was sorry and bring me food again and just show me attention, positive attention. Mm -hmm. And then I'd fall back into the ways because I was so young and I had never seen any domestic violence in my life before. I didn't think that it was happening to me. Mm -hmm. um, I was conflating his abuse with passion. Yeah. Um, and if he cares about me this much enough to really hurt me, like I just, I, the ways that I was kind of validating it yeah. in my own mind, I can't see why I was thinking that way then. Yeah. But, you know, in retrospect, everything is easier and I should have left and I should have stayed away. Yeah. And there are so many things that I could have done differently. Yeah. I mean, it's so easy to say that like over a decade later, right? Oh, absolutely. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.